Welcome to Ecanic. Today I'm going to talk about a question we get a lot is when you replace the battery should we or should the owner keep the battery uh, power to the vehicle? We get that question a lot and we do not keep power when we replace the, the batteries and I'll tell you why and I'll tell you why you should not do that as well. So basically what people think is that if you keep while well, you change the battery you can keep power to it by maybe disconnecting, uh, connecting to the positive in another spot. Maybe here, this is positive terminal in the ground. You can feed the back the car through here, or maybe through the cigarette outlet. You know, because people think we're gonna keep uh, power on, so we don't lose memory settings. We're not gonna lose. I actually don't know what they're gonna lose because there isn't anything to get lost uh, when you uh, disconnect the battery. The things that do get lost is maybe like your windows. Um, one touch button or in some older cars like the radio code but those are things that uh, are very easy to synchronize your windows and enter your radio code compared to the fact that you might accidentally cause a lot of issues to your vehicle if you do keep power to it uh, the way that you cause issues is uh, one is if you're going to keep power to it a lot of times you may be using like uh, another jump box that jump box might only have like nine volt you keep that connected to the car and you know if you especially if you turn on the ignition that low voltage is gonna throw a bunch of codes in a lot of modules especially if you got European cars you're gonna have low voltage like several low voltage codes in various control units some of them will clear once you reconnect a fully charged battery but things like the airbag codes in the airbag module even if it's low voltage they won't clear, you need a scanner. You could use the Ucanic scanner to clear those codes, but you just cause uh, problems to yourself. And while those are not the biggest headache, what could really be the biggest headache is that if you get power to the vehicle, however you do it, um, let's say you were here and you are um, have this terminal and you just leave it, you drop it down. If that accidentally touches the frame, you just short it and it, the, the smallest damage is going to be like you just probably blew a fuse, but you can also fry a control unit. You can ruin your ignition, you can uh, ruin your ECU, who knows what. And the other thing is that if you do keep power to the, the second reason why you don't want to do it, if you keep power to the car and you're putting this positive right here, and let's say maybe I have a longer wrench when I'm tightening that and I accidentally touch there, then that's the same thing. You can cause a lot of damage. So. The things that you do have to program um, afterwards, like the key, the key is not going to lose its memory. Uh, transmissions these days, it used to be that like the, some of the older ones, they'll uh, lose their um, adaptive transmission settings that you know records your um, like how you drive and all of that. It basically resets transmission to uh, maybe factory settings, so it's not any anything you need to worry about. Uh, some of the newer ones, you don't even lose that, those settings if, even if you don't keep power to the car. Um, there isn't any good reasons um, to keep power to the vehicle. There's only bad reasons to keep the battery um, or battery fed or the car fed through another source. So that's why we don't do it here at Ucanic and that's why you won't see us do it. If you did um, not keep power to the battery, once you start the car, Make sure you press that window all the way down, hold it down there, then move it all the way up, hold it in that position, the switch. You do the same thing with sunroof. If your radio needs a code, enter that radio code. And basically that's all you need to, uh, after you reconnect the battery. And that's a lot quicker than if you did damage something and caused several hundred, if not thousands of dollars of damage. So thank you for watching Mechanic, and that's why you don't keep the battery or the car powered up when you replaced the battery.